In music, a generic title is one that's commonly used multiple times by many different composers. Some common generic titles include sonata, symphony, string quartet, and so on. Because they're generic, you'll often see numbers or keys next to the title to differentiate between them. The tricky thing about searching for this kind of music is that catalog records don't always include these numbers or keys. Or they write them differently, or they include other numbers like dates, CD track timings, number of pages in a score, and so on. So when you search, it's best to leave off the numbers and keys, at least to start. Let's try an example. Let's say you need to find a CD of Dvorak's String Quartet No. 12, performed by the Portland Quartet. To search, we'll go to the library catalog and start the same way as always, with the title, String Quartet, and the composer's last name, Dvorak. In this case, we want a specific performer, so we can add that too. So I'll say Portland. And we can limit the format to CDs. If we also include the number 12 and search, we get no results. So let's go back, take out the number 12, and try again. Now we have two options, both with a string quartet by Dvorak performed by the Portland String Quartet. Neither of them says number 12, but we can do a quick Google search to find that Dvorak's quartet number 12 is in F major and is also Opus 96, the American Quartet. Back in the catalog, we see that the first result has the American String Quartet in F major, Opus 96. So this is the CD we want. Now there can be times when you do need to use numbers in your search, usually when a composer has a lot of pieces with the same generic title. For example, Haydn wrote over 100 symphonies, so not including a number there can make it pretty hard to find just the one symphony you need. But if you do include numbers, NO numbers are the least consistent. If you can, try to use opus numbers or thematic catalog numbers, which usually have capital letters in front like BWB for Bach, K for Mozart, and so on. So remember, when searching generic titles, search the composer's name, the generic title, and performer's names if applicable, and the format. But don't add numbers or keys to your search unless you get too many results and you really need the numbers to narrow down your list.